So, how's that make you feel? Got to go now. Anyway, <laughs> psychically, <laughs> speaking, psychically speaking, no, if you're on the upside of this, it's a really a great thing. Uh, there's, there's these two dimensions, as you've heard me say this over and over and over again. I hope you get it. Um, but let me just say it one more time, just in case you didn't. Um, um, the, you have the heaven on earth dimension on earth, and you have the hell on it, hell on earth dimension on earth. And um, those dimensions have been one and the same forever. Now they're breaking apart. And when they're breaking apart, uh, what's going to happen? I don't have a clue. Uh, and the reason is because I can only read it present time. This is not anything I have 100 years of experience with, with reading a million different scenarios and situations. And, oh, that's a that's a so-and-so demon. I've seen that one many times before. Nope, never seen this show before. And so this is a brand new show. So it's a brand new show for me. And it's a brand new show for you. And so, so, but I will help you guys figure it out and we'll figure it out together. And so I'm so glad you're here so we can figure it out together. But there's a lot of weird things happening in the cosmos. You have strange energies doing great things for you, uh, or you have strange energies doing horrific things for you. Uh, so you want to be on the great side of, of great. Uh, and you want to be on the you you want to be on the heaven on earth on earth side. So and you can totally do this. It has to do with your intentions. It has to do with a few little simple rules like oneness. There's one for you. And it has to do with appreciation. And it has to do with your your simple God connection. And I say simple God connection because it's simple. Uh, it's very simple. It's so simple that most of the time through history, people have missed it. They think it's a religion. They think it's it's uh, uh, it's um, feeling guilty about all kinds of stuff. Um, they think it's different different uh, derivatives of fear. Uh, most of the things and times, uh, you know, societies basically and still are built on fear. Um, fear seems to be the big one. And so what you fear, you bring closer to you. You've heard that old saying before. Well, what you fear, guys, you bring right in your face these days. So it is totally a different beat. Uh, but it is the beat, and this is the beat where it's in your face. And so, and so with that, it's very hard to ignore that some things are going on. Uh, you guys want to pat yourself on the back. Love yourself a little more. Appreciate yourself a little more. Realize that, wow, I did get that. Wow, I did feel that. Wow, I did treat somebody nice today. Oh, wow, somebody told me something sweet today. And I appreciated them for doing that. I, I told someone something sweet and nice today. And I felt really good about that. So this is the this is the side of the trade you want to be on. And when you are on that side of the trade, you're in the heaven on earth on earth dimension, and you'll find that things work out perfect for you. It's really about that simple. Uh, and if you're in the grumbling and bitching your head off space, good luck, because you're going to, uh, I think, get your spiritual asses kicked. You know, <laughs> it's bas basically what I see, because I see it over and over and over. And after a while, you kind of go, OK, this must be really happening here on, on the planet Earth. So so you guys, you don't want to get beat up. You certainly don't want to beat yourself up. And you certainly don't want to beat up the people you love. You know, even if people you love do something really lousy to you, you just want to love them more. And sometimes it's really hard these days to dig that deep. Uh, are any of you guys having a hard time digging as deep as what you need to dig? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. If you're having a little bit of a rough time, just being able to dig as deep is what it takes to just be okay with everything. Uh, and, okay, and so so with that, hey Wally, let me talk to you. Let me talk to Wally. Let me talk to Wally real quick. Wally, hey, Wally up there, you live in paradise. What do you have to bitch about? You live in Stillwater, Minnesota. <laughs> hey Wally, you know, unmute that, yourself. That's one of the nicest. That's one of the nicest places on earth, right about now. You know, it, you know. it, so it, it is very, it is nice up in Stillwater. Okay. So tell me, so tell me, you're having to dig deep. Explain what digging deep is for you because you're, I like you because you're very, I don't like you, I love you. And you're very articulate. You, you, you pay attention to details. You care about everybody in spite of their, their shortcomings. I know that about you. And you're telling me you're having to dig deep. How, tell me what that feels like. What are you having to dig deep about? Let me help you with it. Well, just, when I, I just, 
kind of like living. I mean, sometimes it's really hard just to to um, go on from day to day. Um, and I just have to keep digging to uh, be happy. Oh, got it. Okay. Well, here's here, let me tell you what you got, Wally. You have worn your spirit totally out. Sometimes, guys, and I want I want you guys, let me go to the gallery view for a second. Let me just look at everybody. And so I want you guys to tell me, raise your hand if you feel like Wally feels. You feel like it's hard to go on the day to day to day. And you're going, how do I do this, right? Well, let me tell you the anecdotal cure. Wally, you want me to fix you? Oh, please. Yes. Okay, okay. so I'm gonna I'm gonna look at you, Wally, now. And so when I when I'm when I'm looking at you, I I uh I'm looking at, at you got a bunch of little dark blobs around you. Now these dark blobs mean that you've meditated, you've obviously killed a lot of demons and dark energies. And, and so what's happening is um, you have residue darkness. Okay, you have residue darkness. That hard time finding you on the screen. And there we are. And so, so you have this residue. I want you to ask God, and you already have this sword, but I want you to ask him for a big, giant, blue diamond sword. And it's kind of a blue-purple. It looks like amethyst. It looks like, oh, this is a piece of amethyst right here. Uh, that's a big one. Anyway, and so, but it looks sort of like that. And the sword is made of that. Uh, but it's a, it's a little bit bluer. And so what you want to do, you want to ask God for your big, giant, blue diamond sword. Say God, it out loud. God, please give me my big, blue diamond sword. Okay. Now I want you to grab the sword. Raise your hand up in the air and then get it. <clears throat> and grab it. Okay. I grabbed it too. Okay. There we go. As soon as you grabbed it, your sinuses open. Your face felt a little warmer. Your feet got tingled. Feel that? My face looks really red. Yeah, I saw the light go into it. I felt, yeah. I'm empathing you. I'll feel everything going on in your body and okay. mind. So now then I want you to take this big giant sword and I want you to clean up these black blobs around you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go round and round, way up in the sky, and clean up these black blobs around your house. And I want all you guys to do the same thing. You can ask for the same the sword the same way that Wally did. God give me this big giant blue okay. diamond sword. There we go. And if you notice your sinuses got light, you feel warm. You have to clean up the residue energy. This is what many times you guys forget to do. And sometimes I do too. And, and it'll give you a slight headache. Any of you guys had slight headaches lately or bad, bad headaches? That's the residue dark energy. And so you want to clear that up. You want to clean that up. And now when you use that sword, it, you, it actually gets rid of the residue dark energy. And so Wally, you just did that. Now you feel a little lighter. And now that you I want to do. use that, you feel it, right? And yeah. so Wally, to take this sword. I want you to go through your body with it. I want you to clear through your physical body. There you go. There you go. There we go. Now, Wally, notice you can breathe better. Feel it? Yes. So when you cleared your physical body, you can physically breathe. And so you can feel that. And now you feel slightly teary. I feel you're feeling slightly teary. See? That's yes. heat. You just healed Wally. Okay. Ah, thank you. Just in thank the event. I'm not, if I'm not there that day, see, you guys can heal yourself. You don't have to have me around to heal you. You can heal yourself. And so Wally just healed Wally. And so that's, that's really, really good. Now, Wally... And heal all and clear all your idiots while you're doing this. Whoever your idiots are. We all have idiots, okay. right? And so you want to heal your idiots, but they're your idiots, people you love that drive you nuts, okay? Clear those. Now you feel lighter than you felt ever. Look how light you feel now. See? Way different. Yeah. Okay. So you feel lighter when you clear your idiots than guys than you do when you clear yourself. So many times these days you're impacting the people that are around you that are your loved ones. Okay. And so, AKA idiots. And so, and then some days you get to be the idiot. Sometimes I'm the idiot. Sometimes Dean's the idiot. Well, most of the time. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you here, Dean? Hello. Hello. And so, so there oh, we I can't go. hear you, Gary. Say that again. <laughs> Nothing. Anyway, so, so, but as you clear yourself, You'll find that this really does work out for you and it's good for you. And this blue diamond sword is very, very powerful. And I see, I feel very teary in my eyes because I feel you guys getting healed by using the sword. It just clears things and makes them better. 
And if that don't work, hug a puppy like Dino. There we are. Look at you. What are you doing? You got a puppy. I want a puppy. You gotta get me a puppy. You're getting a white one. Oh, I am? Oh, good. <laughs> so, so, Wally, as I look at you, I cleared all these little dark energies off. Now then, I want all you guys to remember this. When you get yourself, when you're beat about half to death, you think, how the hell can I get through another day, right? You then simply ask God for a brand new spirit. Keep in mind, your spirit is what holds your mind and your body and your soul all together. That's what your spirit does. So you ask God for a new spirit. So you just say, God, God give me, please give, give me, me a new spirit. spirit. Please. Please. And give me a big blue diamond spirit. Okay? And he wanted to look. It'll look sort of like this. Uh, it'll look like something from Zion heaven. It'll look like this big giant piece of amethyst. And thank you guys for, oh, we had a great crystal day. We sold crystals on Wednesday for you guys. And so if you didn't catch it, we'll do it again soon. And so but thank you for all the crystals that you bought. And so, but but you will actually now feel this whole different thing, Wally, as its spirit just slipped into you. And so you notice your feet are warming up? Yes. I feel like I'm on fire, My, especially my head. Good. Because your head was a problem. Right. <laughs> Sometimes our hearts can be the problem, but most of the time it's our heads. And so these days, and it's heaven on earth, on earth dimension, or hell on earth, on earth dimension, uh, it's your head. It's the way your head thinks. So you want your head to quit thinking stupid stuff. You want your head to quit thinking negative. You want your head to quit thinking bad things about yourself. You want your, you, you want your head to think good things. You want to pat yourself on the back. Uh, you want to tell yourself you love yourself. And you want to tell yourself, thank you, God. You want to tell yourself, thank you, thank you, yourself. And just say, thank you, Wally. Say, thank you, Wally. Thank you, Wally. And just say, Wally, thank you've, you. you've served me well in this lifetime, Wally. <laughs> Wally, you've served me well in my lifetime. You have. Uh, yes. You're accomplished. You're successful. Uh, you're happy. You have a relationship. Life is good. You know, and so. All those I, things, yep. All those things, you have kids, you have uh, family. I mean, I, I've read you many times, I know you. Um, and you live in Stillwater, Minnesota. So what do you have to bitch about? <laughs> so it's a great place. And so, and so, but we still do. So everybody, right. if you really think about it and you ask yourself, what do I have to bitch about, right? Well, stop bitching. And just instead of bitching, pat yourself on the back, tell God, thank you. Have appreciation, please, for yourself. Appreciate yourself. And as you appreciate yourself, you'll find other people do too. But God already does. I see that. And now I've seen a crown go on your head, Wally. And this is really cool. I'm so happy that this happened this early in the show. And so that's because you were spiritually ready for this crown. This crown is the crown of the heaven on earth on earth dimension. It is solid diamonds. It's solid diamonds and gold. And it just went on your head. Now, how do you feel? Bet you're on fire now. Feel how your head got all... Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yes. Totally different. Feel that? That's crazy. Made me tear up. Made me tear up. Oh, me that, too. That was, that was healing. Whoa. Okay. So you guys want to get that crown through the tonight's show. The fact that that crown came down that quick, that is the crown. When I was meditating this morning, I was out meditating in the garden really early this morning. And I was sitting there in front of the gift table and I was meditating and God said, get your gift. And I got this big giant, golden solid diamond crown i got that crown this morning and so and you got it that quick and the reason that you got it that quick is because i'm one with you you're one with me i'm one with zion god he's one with me and, and so it works like that and that's how oneness works and so we got this great illustration of oneness i don't know judy if you got that shot of, or not of that oneness shot but i gotta get that it's like where all the little lines are tangled together and so we're going to make sure we have that one to throw up because that's a really cool shot. And so, but one is, there's a oneness network that exists, guys. If you find it, throw it up. And so, and so this is, oh, there's a crown. It looks like that. It's even got more diamonds than that. Wow. It looks just like that, but it's like full of diamonds. This one is. And so, but that's what you got. And if you ask for that particular crown, you say, God, please give me the heaven on earth on earth dimension crown. Please and so. The more diamonds, the better it is. That means you're going to be really successful, wealthy. You know, things will just show up. You don't have to think about it much. It just shows up in your life. 
Wally, I love you, buddy. Take care of yourself, okay? Thank you. Love you, too. All right. Bye. Take care. Take care. Stillwater, Minnesota. Oh, my God. I have so many fond memories of there. When I was in Minneapolis doing shows for years and years and years with Dave Ryan, every now and then I still do it. Um, you know, it was really great because we did a show called The Booty Cruise. That's right. Because they did a survey, you know, radio stations always think they're intelligent. And I don't know if they're intelligent or if they're stupid. But anyway, they, they managed to do these, these shows and they, they tried to figure out what women like. And so this is predominantly a woman's station. Uh, and so they figured out that women like the number one thing that women like <laughs> is, uh, is psychics. They like, thank God, you guys, women like me. I, and so but women like psychics and they like male strippers. That's right, you girls. <laughs> anyway, and so, and so, and everybody's like, me? No, I don't like. Well, anyway, well, a lot. Anyway, they people do, and and so, or that's what their survey came out, and so they decided to have what was called a booty cruise, and so we get on this Mississippi paddle wheel boat, and we're off out and about, and. Uh, for about three hours, these girls go out and party like crazy. And I do a show, it's like a Vegas show that we do on one floor of this big paddle wheel, Mississippi wet paddle wheel boat. And, and so, and then uh, the male strippers are on the next floor up. Anyway, uh, these were great times. So Wally, enjoy Stillwater, Minnesota. And so, and that's where I met you up there at Stillwater. So, so anyway, um, as I look at you guys, you know, there's a lot of people who really have so much magic and it's magic that you have inside you and you want it just to come out. Hey, Dwayne, can I talk to you, Dwayne Dunham? Can I talk to Dwayne? I haven't talked yep. to Dwayne in a while. I'm so glad you're here. So funny that you picked him, Gary. I had a feeling he was going to be spotlighted today. Dwayne oh, really? Dunham. He doesn't even have his hand raised. I was like, I have a feeling he's going to be spotlighted. Next thing you know, you call him. Right. Y'all get out of each other's head. Get out of each other's head. Michelle and I are always together on these things. We just yeah. are. Anyway, uh, so, so so Dwayne, Dwayne. How, how you doing, buddy? How are I'm you? Doing, I'm doing wonderful. I'm glad to be back and be able to join all the calls now. So you know, doing oh, great. Good. Hey, and you wrote a book, right? I'm still writing a book. I got oh. to on the mix. I'm I'm getting, I would say I'm procrastinating less. Let's leave it at that. So oh well, you know, it. I I can't, you know, I've got about four or five books wrote and we got to edit four or five books and then we'll throw yeah. four or five books out. So we got I get it. We're, it's in the it's in the process. Yes, it, it is. is. Yes. So I read I read Daniel Steele so much and Jackie Collins, my dear friend, bless her heart, she's on the other side now. But but I read them so much in life that I should have osmosis them <laughs> at this point. And so, uh, but but uh, I, I I feel like this is a great book coming out of you. So I can't wait for it. Okay. You know, I really. That'll motivate see, me to write more. Yes. Yeah, and I see this. Can you give me that feather? I want you. Can you see it back there? I, I got all these gifts of writing this week, and I I, I meant to to. Uh, to, to bring this little thing, because I, I found, I got everything in the world. You can almost name something that's laying around the house here somewhere. And the spiritual gift I've, I got this week was the gift of writing, huh? right? And so, and I and every morning when I would meditate, I kept getting the gift of writing, 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 writing. And so there's like, a, um, and, and so there's this, uh, I got the gift of these feathers. And they, they're sort of like ostrich feathers. If you see the big quills, mm -hmm. you know, and and so but there's like uh there's these uh uh and 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 i kept getting these but i got like and and then it just started raining these and falling these down fall, these were falling down so i was in the library room and i actually found found it here we are so there we go you can see it and so and i and i had some of these and and of course i did and so uh so these are uh this is it's a spiritual gift of this um, and I actually see God giving you the spiritual gift of that, but he's giving it to you. It's, it's interesting. He's giving you the spiritual gift uh, of a, a feather quill, like you write with. Mm -hmm. And, and, and so, um, and this is, he's giving it to you, but he's giving it to you in Zion heaven. He's not giving it to you here on earth. And so I want you to look where I'm looking. I know you can see spiritually. Okay. And so look where I'm looking and we're on a big rock patio. There's a little round table. Okay. And God, and God holds up. Actually, so he's holding up a glass of champagne. Sometimes it's coffee, but right now he's he's having yeah. cocktail hour. And so so he's giving you a glass of champagne and he goes, cheers. 
Yeah. So Cheers you, back. Yeah. Yeah. And so you got really warm then. Feel your arms, your hands yeah. got warm. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, and so now then he's like, uh, take your gift and you look up in the sky and there's a gigantic feather coming down. Uh, if you can look up in the sky, you see yeah. it? Mm -hmm. Gigantic. And so, and this feather's coming down. And so take the feather and put it in your hand. Okay. Okay. And now you feel like you're, it's a crazy expansion of consciousness. What is your head? What is your head? I'm like? just sweating over here now. My, my basement is used to freezing and now I'm sweating my ass off. It's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. And so, but this is, this is a spiritual gift of writing. And, and he tells me to tell you to please write him a book. I, I shall. Yes. And so, and that's what I heard. And so there we go. So there's your spiritual gift of writing. Cool. Thank uh, you. Yeah, that's really, really neat. Really neat. But I saw this gift coming down to you. I didn't know what it was, but I saw it coming down to you. And so, uh, but I look at you, I see your light bright. Uh, I see you doing really, really, really well. I see a diamond studded heart, you know? Um, and so, uh, which is good. I see love in your life, huh? you know? And so it makes sense? Yes, it does. Yeah. Things are, things are wonderful. Yeah. Things are okay. good. All right. Say it again. Yeah. Things are wonderful. Things are, things are great. It, it's good. Better. Yeah. Say it again. <laughs> That's good. See, things, and things, things can be wonderful. Yeah. This is the thing. See, some people before it's wonderful, it's not wonderful. Yeah. But people have to realize it can be wonderful. Yeah, so I just great. see it wonderful. And, and uh, I see your life. Great. I see lots of love. I haven't talked to you in a while, but I see it all around you now. Yeah, that's so, wonderful. Yeah, thank you. So, hey, good luck, buddy. All right, Love, thank you. Love you. Love you. Too. Right. Yeah. Send me a copy of your book, will you? <laughs> I, I, I shall. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. Isn't that crazy? And so, mm -hmm. He has such a nice smile. Uh -huh. he's, he's so, we were just saying, he just seems so cool. He's, he's, like, he's got such a mellow, peaceful energy. Like he's so likable, lovable. Now watch Gary goes, oh no, he's a sniper for in, in real life. <laughs> Well, he does have another side. Okay. Like, well, we oh, can't wait to read listening. your book. He's listening. Yeah, no, but, but he's got a great book in him. In spite of all that, no, he's got a great book. So, so Dwayne's a really special person. And uh, I remember the first time I read Dwayne, I, I looked at him and I told him, I said, you are a spiritual freak of nature. And he was almost like, what? Yeah, I go, no, you don't understand. You can almost do what everything I can do and then some. Uh, and he goes, well, you know, I have had this happen and that happen. And so, uh, but he's, uh, he's really been on quite a journey and I'm just so happy he's found his heaven on earth on earth. And I actually see that he has. So that's a beautiful thing. I love it. Who are we talking to guys? Michelle. Yay. Thank, you. Thank you, Gary. Well, let's first, I need to go to your friend. Oh, who's that? Freddie Getz. <laughs> Jay. Oh, go. <girl>. Hey, Freddie. <laughs> wow. yeah. Joe, Jay Fred's iPad. Is that it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right, Freddie, un unmute yourself. Hey, hey buddy. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? I, 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 sold, I sold the properties like you said I would, and I rented a house in Lafitte. And in the oh, move, I found, I found Gary Spivey glasses. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. They're very awesome. becoming. <laughs> yeah, you don't look as serious. You don't look as serious. You don't look as stately, but you you know you look you look very no, fun. I love, this, I love this house. I read it. It is so beautiful. It's a oh, I, you have to come see it. It's just it's breathtaking. I can see yeah. all of these bayous that converge, and it's way up well, in you, the air. You, well, you've always you've always you've always had beautiful places. You know, years ago, Freddie and I have been friends for a hundred thousand years, and so at least. And, and years ago, I, I, I had fallen on rough times and everybody around me, any of you guys ever had a time where everybody around you screwed you over? Well, I had one of those times. This was the worst time in my life, one of, and, and Freddie heard about this and Freddie had the owned the largest art gallery in, on the West coast of uh, Florida. Um, and it was a very famous art gallery and, and Freddie himself is a famous artist now in New Orleans. And so, but it was, it was crazy because you said, look out in your yard and, and uh, I was staying with a friend because even, I mean, it, it, it was really a horrible time for me. And, and, um, and uh, he said, look out at, at the street. You may not even remember this, Freddie. Uh, and I looked out and I saw your limousine parked out front. And you said, get in it. He said, you need somebody to rescue you. And I was like, I do. 
And he says, well, come to my house. And, and he lived in a little town called Bartow, Florida, which is a very interesting town. It's one of those old Southern Florida towns. Uh, and there was like, maybe there's about 20 big giant mansions in this town because a lot of wealthy people live there. And Freddie owned two of them. And so I went to your house and you saved my life. And well, you. No, you say you've actually saved my life for the past 35 years or more. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm trying to pay you back. <laughs> And so I'm trying Good to bring back. <laughs> yeah, but it was real. But you know, so you you have a reason, a season, a lifetime. And so, and I want you guys to know this: you have a reason, a season, a lifetime, and you have some friends that are lifetime friends. And so, when you do, you did good. So, I ain't got anything, nothing to bitch about. So, thank you. <laughs> that's a good place that's a good place it makes me teary I, that's a good place to be in my head that's a really good place to be in my head and so when you guys have people that are long-term friends and so so here's what i want you to do i get teary when i think about it and so i want you to because it's very healing i want you guys right now i want everybody to think about your long-term friends think about your people that have been there forever they don't give a damn if you're an idiot they don't give a damn if you're crazy they don't give a damn if you're rich. They don't care if you're poor. Think about those people. Think about those people in your mind right now. Put those people in your head. And as you put those people in your head and put them in your heart, you're going to feel good. That feeling. And now then I see this really crazy crystal looking ball of light that looks like this. I can pick this heavy thing up one more time. Right? <laughs> All right. And so, okay, see that, imagine that, and you'll see a big crystal that looks like that and a big ball of light that goes to you. And that's when you tap into the energy of your old friends. And so that's the value. And that is the tremendous value because you can be in a bad mood. You can be by yourself. You can think you're alone. And then all of a sudden you realize, damn it, I'm not alone. I've got an old friend. Wow. Yeah, and he, he is old. <laughs> hey! I got, I got old. <laughs> hey, oh, let's, oh, oh, let's wait. I thought you were talking about I got about a quick me. question, Gary. I, yeah. I went and had a, a, a feeling uh, this, oh, after all of this. I'm sorry to bother you with this little thing, but I had a filling redone, and they gr grounded down, and it went back, but my jaw is so sore for like six months, I mean, six weeks. I don't know if the dentist is is right or I've got do I have a serious issue or just go back again and get my tooth filed down again or I don't know what's going on it just hurts to eat or open my mouth for like we're going on almost did two they, months did they do it had they done a root canal in that no no it, no it just was an old filling taken out and then they packed in a new one and then okay, well it. they should they should have done a root canal before they put it back in oh is that what it is should I just yes. have it removed maybe or uh, you got to remove the filling, do a root canal, and then put it back in. You'll be all right. And so, you know, my other friend, who I've been friends with for a thousand years, is uh, a is a dentist. Oh, <laughs> so, really? <laughs> yeah. So every <coughs> excuse me, every time he has a, a hard case, he will um, call me, and I'm able to tell him how to get through it. So actually, I'm damn near a dental surgeon at this point. And so, so my friend Chris in Florida is a dentist. And so, but, but they, they have to do a root canal in the tooth. So they got to start all over, take the filling out, do a root canal and put it back and it'll be all right. Wow. Okay. I knew it had to be something more than what they were saying. That's it. That's, That's what it, it is. But, well, thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. I will go. come see you. You know, now that I got moved, I'm unpacking. I am going to come see you later this summer or, or whatever. <laughs> Can't, can't wait. I love you, buddy. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you soon. And so All this right. is this is the dumb stuff that friends call you for. <laughs> okay. I love you. <laughs> Most people call me and go, oh, I had someone die and this happened, or I have, you know, and, and so and, and your friends call you up and say, Hey, look, I got a bad feeling. Can you tell me what the deal is? You know, and so, but hey, I love every moment of this. Every moment, every time a friend calls me and asks me those dumb damn questions, I love every moment of it. I really do. Every moment. Freddie, I love you. I'll talk to you soon. And so what a great person. You know, my life is so much That's richer. Awesome. Your, your life becomes rich as you have friends. It really does. I mean, you know, it was so beautiful being around Freddie. You know, he's one of sort of the descendants of, of, of different, you know, kinds of crazy 
you know, uh, turn of the century wealth. And so I, when, when Freddie took me into his house when I was in my early 30s, after I had, you know, had really honestly millions of dollars of stuff and it went away in about a second, I, I it, it was really pretty wild because he took me in and, and I had the lousiest room in the house and it had a half a million dollars worth of art in the room. You know, and so I was remember, remember, I don't know if Freddie still, I can see your face, but it was, it, you, you, I think my room had Sir P Peter Lilly's on the wall, which was an English portrait painter that came after Van Dyke. Am I correct? Yes, I think I am. And so, and, and of course, Freddie's room had Van Dyke's, but anyway, <laughs> but it, it was, it, it was really, it, you know, it was really amazing. And, you know, and I remember cooking dinner when I'd cook dinner at your house, I would cook dinner and own, and I would use Mrs. Astor's silver which was like the richest person in the world uh, at the turn of the century. And so, and we, that's the silver that we, that, you know, so you shared a lot of crazy stuff and you taught me how to hold a fork. You're like, hey, look, if you go to Europe, you're going to look like an idiot. All that. <laughs> and that's what I learned. You could cook psychically. Remember you would like, go, oh, you would be like, oh, I need to add this. I do that. You, you, there you go. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Yeah, so that's fun. We so throw we got, great dinner parties. I could set the table and you could cook it. <laughs> I could flat throw it out. And so anyway, oh my god, we had a great time, didn't we? And we so, and those are and those are the old memories. And when you guys, when you when you have these old memories, you find people and you create new old memories. Do that. Right. Do that. Find your friends. Be buddies with people. Be real friends with people, and you're going to find that life is good for you. Right. Ready? Thank you again. Love hey, Gary. Oh, Gary. You know what? Uh, you know, Bradley Higgins is drinking himself to death on purpose because he's down to two hundred thousand dollars in a, and he oh. still has to pay for half. Most people, dollars. most people, most people are like, "What? He's got two hundred thousand. He's rich." No, for him, he's two thousand. What is this problem? I don't know if I can say. I, I, I just well, I just pulled a demon out of him. He'll act better Did now. You? Okay, so okay, there good. you go. Is he gonna <laughs> live? Okay. All right, I'll let yeah. you go. Bye. For a while. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Freddie. Thank you. Can you imagine? Always good talking you, to you. I'm down to 200,000. I'm pissed off. I can't live I'm anymore. Not, <laughs> I can't live. I'm going to have to kill myself now. I'm going to throw myself in the volcano. <laughs> Up the hill he goes, throwing himself yeah. in the volcano. Again. Again. Anyway, he'll live. Oh, okay. Who we got? Thank you, Gary. Can we go to Shalini Mene Menez Menezes? Menezes? I'm sorry. I ruined that one, but Shalini. <laughs> All right, Shalini, Menezes. unmute yourself, please. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Gary. Hi. I had a very bad episode two weeks ago, and it's still going on. I had many, multiple faintings and nausea and stomach problems. And what did you have? Tell me what you had. Uh, it, it's, it's a GI. And it's kind of a flu. They, they diagnosed it in emergency as a, as a stomach flu. So the whole GI tract was affected. I was throwing up and diarrhea and fainting okay. four times. Okay, let me just look. Um, did you take antibiotics through this time? No, no. Okay, here's what I here's what I see. I see that you you. It's like you're there's different bacteria that's sort of been attacked. A lot of times this is with people who've taken a lot of anti antibiotics. Mm -hmm. uh, if, you take, if you take probiotics right now, uh, you'll, it'll put you back together really fast, okay? So you wanna go to the health food store and get some probiotics or the doctor, mm -hmm. okay? And then you'll find that that'll heal you up. Feel how your belly got, can you feel your stomach get warm right now? You feel that? Can you feel that? Yeah. You got a, a little light, you feel it, see? Okay, that's not, that's not because I healed you. I told you what to do to heal you. So probiotics, yeah. okay? It's, it's, so it's sort of the opposite of an antibiotic, and, but it's, right. a good, it's a good bacteria. And so, but you've got a weird thing that happened. Uh, and you also have a gallbladder issue. Do you still have a gallbladder? Yeah, I do. Well, your gallbladder is doing weird things. And so it's doing very strange things and secretes foul bile into your stomach and it goes down through your digestive system and it totally messes you up. And so you ever have a cramping sensation underneath your right rib cage deep inside, real deep inside on the right side? Uh, okay. No, not really. 
Well, if you notice that feeling, that's a gallbladder attack. But I see your gallbladder is doing weird things too. But I pass out completely for a minute, for half a minute or so. Um, well, it, no, it's it, times, yeah. well, it, well, you got a lot of weird stuff going on, but it's really you getting attacked uh, and mainly a gallbladder attack. And it makes all kinds of other weird stuff go off with you. Okay. And so, and then you're passing out for a minute. Is your blood sugar yeah, dropping? Maybe, a minute, maybe less than a minute. Yeah, but that's your blood sugar dropping. So yeah. you've got something where this is affecting your pancreas and it's affecting your blood sugar. But that whole meridian of your body is getting attacked. And, that, and it comes from the emotional problem from children. And so, and I'm pulling that away from you. Do you have kids? Uh, kids? Yes, but it's not, there's no emotional problem. No, I think it's just, I don't know. And maybe you just worried a lot when they were little. Yeah, you know, but I did but, lose my mother just a couple of weeks before. Okay, well, that could even key it in, but it has to do with with kids. Maybe you're afraid of you're going to die and, lose, and your kids will miss you. I mean, I'm not sure what it is, but you've got something that's keyed in this emotion and okay. that's attacking you too. And it has to do uh, with, with kids, with your children. And oh, so but probably, probably because you lost your mother and that keyed in the, oh my God, what if I died? What will my kids do? And so it makes, that makes sense, I think, to you. And so, but I'm just going to pull this dark energy off that, that's got you. And there we go. So I got rid of the dark energy and you take a probiotic and life will be good. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Thanks, honey. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Okay. Right, Wait that? for the next one. Uh, well, yeah. well, I guess whenever Gary, whenever Gary's <laughs> ready. Let's go to Michaela DeFalco. <laughs> Thank you, Michaela or M Michaela DeFalco. Okay, Michaela, please unmute yourself. Hi, Michaela. Hi, everyone. Hi, Gary. Hey, how are you? Um, I'm good. Kind of having a rough week, but I'm okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, you know what I see with you? I see the heaven on earth dimension moving in. You have a great day. I see the hell on earth dimension on earth moving in. You have a horrible day. <clears throat> and so you've been kind of ping-ponging between the two. Does that make sense to you? Uh, yeah. So like on Sunday this week, so I was fostering a dog. Um, she was super sweet. And then um, I was gone for a few hours. And my roommate, she was like in the crate for an hour because we had to crate her. She's still pretty little. Um and I came home and she bit like five inches of her tail off and like ate it. And I was came home and was like traumatized. It looked like a little like murder scene. It was like honestly horrible. Mm. Um, so I was trying to do like a good deed by fostering her because the shelters are really like overfilled right now. And then I, we had to like take her back because there was too many complications with her surgery. Um, and then I got COVID like a few days later. So I kind of feel like life's just hitting me really hard right now. And I kind of- Well, that need, sounds like hell. Yeah, I just need like something, hopefully something good's coming soon because I feel really like beat down right now. Well, well, you know, that that really is like hell. I mean, when you catch COVID, it's hell. I mean, when I had COVID, it was yeah. totally hell. Um, and until I ended up in heaven, <laughs> Zion heaven, at, you know, which is great. Uh, but But so what happens is with you, I'm going to get you up to your, your heaven on earth on earth dimension. So you'll stay there. Is that okay? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. Let me just look. I've never heard of a dog chewing its own tail off. Yeah. It was and my father funny. and my father was a dog trainer and I've seen everything and I yeah. never, I've never seen that one. That's a new one. I'm and pretty so, traumatized by it. Not going to lie. <laughs> I, I understand. And I'm sorry you went through it. Now, let me just figure it out. Let me look here. I see a bunch of mutilation demons around the dog. I cleared it off. The dog was inbred and that was a problem. So the okay. dog was inbred. Sometimes inbred dogs, uh, just like inbred people, inbred anything can be a problem genetically. And so that's what happened. And so, but I'm just clearing this off. It wasn't your fault. You know, uh, okay. it would have, it would have become worse if you, if you would have kept the dog and it got a little, it would have bit a kid is what I see. And so, so there's, there's things that can occur. So I, I just, you know, I'm clearing all that trauma off of you. There we go. There we go. Feel how your feet are light now and you feel slightly warm. Yeah. You had a lot of old traumas. You had traumas for when you moved. You were a teenager, I think, or it could have been in your early twenties. I just moved. moved like two months ago or a month okay. ago to Austin. Every time. Yeah. How old are you now? I'm 23. Okay. And so moving freaks you right the hell out. Yeah. 
right? And so when you move, you freak out. Yeah. And, and so I'm going to clear that off you. Is that okay? Yes, please. <laughs> because of what's going on, when you freak out and you have fear, you manifest your own hell. Sweet. Well, yeah. And so that falls into that dumb category, right? And so you don't want to manifest hell, your own, especially, uh, or anyone else's, really. And so, so, so I'm peeling this off of you, but it has to do with your mood, okay? Uh, and so I'm peeling this away. And so there we go. And there we go. During your teen years, you were always freaked out if anybody was moving or doing anybody. You had your family moved around a little bit within the dynamic of the family. And so and so different family members did different things. And, and, and so in, anytime anybody would move throughout your life, it freaked you out. Does that make any sense to you? Can you uh, think that? Yeah, I didn't move, but like my parents got divorced when I was really little. My dad yeah, that was like. My dad was moving a lot, not me. Yeah, okay. That was the dynamic, you see. Yeah. See, anytime that would move, that would freak you out. Yeah. And, and so I'm going back to those early childhood traumas of the dynamic of your family as it was moving around. He was moving out or doing this thing or moving somewhere else or whatever, right? Yeah. Uh, and so I'm just going to clear that trauma. Is that okay? Yeah, no, that's, that's great. Clear away. <laughs> All right. So now I'm pulling this trauma off of you and I pulled it right out of you. And there we go. Look how light you feel. Yeah, I feel so how quiet. You're quiet. Yeah. Your head got quiet, right? Yeah. Yeah, honey, you're going to be okay. Now I see you sliding up into this dimension, which is a heaven on earth, on earth dimension. And I see without even you asking, I see this crown coming down to your head that came down earlier at the very beginning of the show with Wally. And it was the, it's the heaven on earth, on earth crown. And it's just this big golden diamond crown. And it just went down. Pull it down on your head. Pull it down on your head. Take it and say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, right now. Thank you, God, right now. Perfect. And that brought you to present time. How you feel? I feel great. Okay. You're going to be all right. Thank You're going to be good. You're going to be good. You look, you look so beautiful, and I see you pretty inside and out. You're going to be all right. Okay? Thank you so much. Hey, good really luck. Love it. It. Take yeah. care of yourself. You Take too. care. Thank you. And so, but many times, guys, you got to realize too, we have traumas. What's a trauma? Trauma is when you go through some hell and you keep on going and you move on and you don't really deal with it. And you stuff it back. And later, this thing pops up and kicks your butt. And that trauma is sometimes a thing that will show up at different times of your life. And it can keep on showing up time and time and time again. Every time she would move for the rest of her entire life, if I didn't get rid of this trauma and her angels and God didn't get rid of this trauma, every time she would move for the rest of her life, she would go through total hell and crazy things would happen. And so, so you got to realize these traumas, you'll have these, then these little things that trigger you. Um, and when they do, It'll key it in, and then you'll go into your hell. Well, so when you find that going on, especially in a pattern, in any kind of a pattern, all you got to do is recognize the pattern, and then you have to, even if I'm around or not, deal with you, deal with that trauma, work through it, and there, you can work through it spiritually. Ask God to give you spiritual gifts. You can also go to therapy if you want to. Uh, it takes a long time, but hey, it's better than not doing anything. And so, and sometimes it works really, really well, really, really fast. Depends on the person. But but work through your traumas and realize those traumas that you beat through, you then don't have to eat those later over and over again. And so there we go. She's going to feel a whole lot better now. So anyway, who are we talking to? Oh, good. Bill? Thank you, Gary. Okay. Let's go to Janie Milsarek. Milsarek. I hope I said that right. Janie. Um... Oh, what is it on this? Janie. Um, Janie's iPad? Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know. Is that it? I guess so. Uh, <laughs> Janie. Right. I Let's think. see if this is the right person. Okay, Janie. If not, we'll talk to them. All right. <laughs> okay, Janie, go ahead and unmute. Um, do you have your video camera on? I do. Let me look. There you are. Oh, hi. Hi, I'm there we are. I got you. How are you, girl? What's your question? Um, I have COVID and I... Just I like you. I really like I, I really like you. 
And oh, so, so, I mean, when I tap into people, sometimes I, I see people that I, I like and love all at the same time. And so whoever, whoever is your friend is one lucky person. Thank you. And so, but you know that about yourself, right? You do. You know you're a good friend of people. Sometimes. <laughs> yes. That you're, I am. You are. That I am. And so you hear here, guys? That I am. I am. What is it? Uh-oh, we may lose her. I am, and I try to be. Yeah, well, you don't even have to try. Can you hear me? I can hear you. It's natural for you. And and so you have COVID. What's your question? I'll try to help you. Um, I had COVID uh, in 2020. And I wanted to make so that I don't um, have the pneumonia again. And my husband is 82. And I'm hoping that he doesn't get it, but he has, he's showing symptoms. And um, hopefully it'll be okay because he has underlying issues. Even though he has underlying issues, he falls in, um, he falls into the category of a tough old coot. He is. <laughs> he's a tough old, and I heard coot. Coot's not even yeah. in my vocabulary. I don't know where the hell that comes from. Anyway, but he's a tough old coot. And so he don't have, I, I see he'll be fine. Uh, but it feels like he may get it, but he's going to just zing through it is what I see. And I'm projecting lots of light to him, lots of healing to him. I'm projecting a lot of light and healing to you. Um, easy to do, easy to do because you're such a bright light. So how you got really warm now? Mm -hmm. Yes. Different feeling. Yes. Good. Good. You look bright as can be. Uh, I Thank filled your lungs. I feel your lung. I filled your lungs full of light and healing. And, uh, and I see your heart full of healing. Oh, that yeah. sounds great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, honey, you're gonna, you're gonna be fine. I appreciate you listening. I, pr I appreciate you calling in on tapping in, you know, uh, yes. but he, he looks fine. Make sure he's hydrated is the only thing. I mm -hmm. see you, does he not drink water? He does, he does drink water all, all day. I make sure of that. And he's very active still. And he just, um, actually, I just made him a pitcher of iced tea. Good. So, yeah. And he takes well, a lot of Victura and all of the stuff that, oh, good. Uh, from you guys. Oh, yes. good. Oh, good, good. That'll mm -hmm. help him out. Well, I, I just see, I just see that, that so, you know, it's really funny. COVID does a lot of weird things to different people, different things. In his case, he looks like he gets dehydrated. And so, so you just want mm -hmm. to like you know, keep on pouring water in him and make tour it, okay? And so, I think that'll help. She froze, but anyway, I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. Good luck with that. He'll he'll be fine. You guys will get through it. You guys will get right on through it. You know, some people get right on through it, and some people die. It's the craziest thing. And so, a lot, you know, and with all, everybody I read, I've read a few people in the last two weeks that have died, um, and um, you know, and and so don't take. COVID lightly. Uh, it's a lighter strand of COVID that's going around, but it, when I ask the question, it looks like it kills about one in 32 people. Hello, right? And so, so you got to still take it pretty serious. You know, it's really out there and it's lurking around. It's almost like having a, you know, so it's, it's almost like turning a rattlesnake loose in the house. <laughs> you know, he's in here. <laughs> he's like, yeah, things in here somewhere. Where is he? You know, <laughs> And so, so, so guys, you just gotta, you know, be safe, be careful, whatever you can do, re be aware, you know, uh, and I'm not projecting fear to you. I'm just projecting really what I think. And so, so anyway, who are we talking to, Michelle? Okay. Thank you, Gary. Okay, let's go ahead and go to Judy Foreman real quick. Judy Foreman. Judy Foreman. Hi, this is Judy. Hey, hey Judy. girl, what up? Hey, um, Gary, you were right. Ron, he um, was over sedated and um, he had a big hiatal hernia. You were absolutely right. Oh, wow. Okay. And now your camera's not on. Is your you got a camera? We don't got a camera. You don't uh, let me see your video. Let me try to get my camera back on. There um, we go. Did it work? Is um, it, it am I on? Not yet. I am Play so it, sorry. Judy. We just see your name popping up in a, a blank screen. Are you on a okay. i Are you on a phone or an iPad or? Yeah, yeah, it's, an, it's my iPhone. I think you have to swipe left. One of okay. them and it'll say turn on camera, left or right. Okay. There you go. Yay! Okay. 
Now we got you. Start all over. Okay. Tell me all that. Tell me all that one time. What okay, is one Jerry, more? I, <laughs> I want to say thank you so much. You were absolutely right. Ron was over sedated and he became awake. And then um, he they did find a big hiatal hernia. And, um, but today they put the tracheotomy in with the vent. They did a feeding tube and they did a tunnel catheter and it was all very successful. And so um, next week he should go to a skilled nursing facility. And I just want to say thank you everybody for all your love and prayers. Yeah. And, and I yeah. hope that he'll be able to wean off of it and get home someday. Yeah. So here's what I hear. And, and what was his illness? He had Legionnaire's bacterial pneumonia. Okay, that's serious. Um, well, what I what I see is he's on the mends, and I hear that. I hear I hear his angel saying he's on the mends. <gasps> Yay! Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, so he's on the mends. He looks good. I'm feeling him full of light. Uh, I'm putting a very purple light in. I'm tapping into the purple Zion heaven. Using this big crystal to do it with. Anyway, and so uh, and and. Um, I'm, I'm tapping into that heaven and I'm bringing down this giant purple ball of light uh, and I'm cramming it in his body. Okay. And Thank I, you and I, so much. Yeah. And I also crammed it in yours right then. Look how light you feel. How does that feel? Ooh. Crazy, right? <laughs> Ew, yeah. Yes. So this, was, this was a spiritual gift that I've never seen before, this particular one. Um, but it's, it just now come down in the show earlier. So many times, guys, when I when I get different spiritual gifts, oh, there's a kitty. No, oh, the yeah. cat. See, cats love light. Look at that. Animals, dogs, and cats love light. I could start reading and talk. I will just jump in. Oh, th that purple ball of light looks exactly like that. That's a oh. perfect, perfect ball of light. That's exactly what it looks like. That went inside of him, and I see it burning out all the darkness in him. Okay. Thank you. And, and I see it burning out the darkness in you. You're feeling pretty warm right now, right? I, I am burning up. I am hot. <laughs> good. I think you're hot too, girl. You be oh, good. Okay. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you thank care. you. I love you guys. I love you. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. That's good. That's good. <laughs> awesome. Yay. Yeah, that's great news. Yeah. Yes, he was good. He was so bad. Happy for you. Yeah, I remember reading that, reading her report. It was really not a good thing, but now it is. Awesome. Who are we talking to, my girl? Thank you, Gary. Can we go to Lori Goodman, please, Miss Lori Goodman? Is it under just Lori? I got it. Yep. You got it already? Okay. Lori, Hi. There you go. Hi, Lori. Hi. We love your jewelry, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask, I got a new kitten. Um, he was born actually a couple days after my other cat died. And um it just kind of worked out that that he I got him. The people needed to find a new home and stuff. Uh, but I have some issues. Um, he's, of course, he's a kitten, so he's biting and scratching, and he likes he wants to suckle my face like he's not he was taken away too soon. Um, and also, um, my other cat is really having a hard time. And she's like, not, she's hissing at me and. Um, she's jealous. She's, she's very jealous. Here he is. Can you guys see him? Yeah. He's, he's a, <laughs> wow, look at his face. He's got a cool face. Yeah. <laughs> his name is Max. Yeah, he's got great color. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Look at his face, guys. He's very mystical looking. <laughs> And so that would be a good poster. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I think he's going to be your best friend for a very long time is what I think. Uh, I, I feel really great about him. It, cool. He's settling in now. He's feeling good about like his spots and things like that. Uh, and so I, I feel him. Um, I feel him good. Uh, the other the other kitty will get through the jealousy in about the next week. So I, see, I, I see it all working out for you. And I see you having fun. Good. And so, uh, this cat later will want to be outside instead of inside and will mm -hmm. always be the, the cat that breaks out the door, but always comes back. So, mm -hmm. so I see you going through some upsetting times where the cat runs away. Uh, mm. The cat will, will run back when he gets hungry. And so, so it's, it's a very independent kitty, but it's all good. Mm -hmm. uh, and so looks good. I don't see any too bad issues, you know, nothing. nothing okay. Bad. 
All good. All good. Do you, All see, beautiful. Do you see any of um, Oliver's energy in him, my last cat? Um, I, I wish I would say yes, but no, I see another <laughs> cat that you had a long time ago uh, that's in this cat. Okay. It's a cat that you had a long time ago. Uh, this may have even been when you were a little girl, but I, I see that. Okay. Okay. So you have Great. to figure out when that is, but I do see it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Good Thanks. Luck. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, Lori. Lori. <laughs> cute, cute cat. Oh my God. So cute. I think you have to be intelligent. I think you have to be intelligent to have cats. You know, <laughs> you always got to figure out what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what are you thinking? And I'm like, I'm passive aggressive. And mm. I, don't have to be, I don't have to be in your movie. I'm in my movie, you know, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> So it's, it's sort of like that. Mm -hmm. Michelle, you ever, Michelle, have you ever had a cat? Mm -mm. No, Don't but do my it. sister does. My sister Divine and her family. Yeah, this cat that keeps coming around. Yeah, well, Whoa. this cat keeps coming around. And they don't know whose cat it is, but it, it looked like it was vaccinated or chipped or something. But it keeps coming around and they named him Toast. <laughs> <laughs> He's cute. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Shia named You're him shy. Toast. Yep. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Um, he's like white maybe you look and charles like my brother-in-law is like oh my god i got this stray cat i, I don't want a cat and next thing you know he he's got to... a got a uh a, 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 a big bag of food and a little cat water bowl <laughs> and a cat food bar oh, so i thought food, you didn't want a cat he goes, <laughs> he goes he goes i feel bad he goes the poor cat looks so skinny i went and now i, I started feeding it now i have a cat in my yard so yeah <laughs> it's an outdoor cat but it's a cute Sticks cat sticks around <laughs> so cute oh, yeah that's interesting they got a cat <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you never know. It'll show yep. you never know. <laughs> Michelle, who are uh, you talking to, girl? Thank you, Gary. <laughs> Let's do another uh Jody Downhill. She actually had a few okay. puppies that passed away. So Jody D. Yes. All right, Jody. Jody unmute yourself. Sorry please. to hear about your puppies. Okay. I think I'm unmuted. Hi. 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 Hey. Hey. hey Jody. Hey girl. Hey. How are hey. you? And so who who passed away? Uh well, Pepe. Pepe passed in oh. may and jackie died okay. like, uh, home. three weeks ago Oops. and um someone else is on and then um and amber died on sunday oh and then but, but mickey and um and angie died in february but so pepe, and, and pepe, pepe died in my arms and um i was running around and jackie um in Amber, they passed away at the clinic. So they're all at the clinic. So every night when I say goodbye, I cry every night. Oh, well, you know, and these are, they're such special little beings because of, you know, a lot of us got our dogs from Jody because she, she's a breeder and a, a veterinarian in, in California, Los Angeles, and also our, our best buddy, our friend. I, and so <clears throat> your, your dogs are so magical. And so, and many times I know the, the coolest thing was I remember one time going to your clinic uh, and and all of your dogs climbed all over me and fell asleep. <laughs> it was really crazy. It looked like I was a, a dog tree for a minute because I had all of your dogs on on me, you know, just, you know, as they were. And they were, I don't know if they were giving me light or soaking my light up, but whatever they were doing, it was magical. And so uh, I do see Amber around you in spirit, uh, really strong. And so I see her and she's just wanting to know you're okay. Uh, and I said, of course, I see Pepe. And and I see see Pepe in the uh, in the uh, in your truck actually, and oh. so when when you ride in the truck, I see Pepe you know in there with you. So, so okay. You, well, he went with me everywhere. So I mean, he oh, was my he was my partner. I mean, he oh. went he went he went to Florida when I did the closing on the house. I took him with him because I wanted him to see because I knew he was failing. So, but he went with me to Florida, so he got to see the place. Hmm. And then and then Jackie passed away. Right before I went to Florida again um, at the end of June, and um, Amber came along because she also wasn't doing very well. And I think when she came back, when I came back two weeks later, I think she just realized everyone was gone. I think she was heartbroken, and she died like eight days later after I got back. It makes a lot of sense because she's the one that's most concerned that you're okay. You know, so, she's a, a little grandma or something. You know, she like yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Jackie, yeah. Jackie wanted to live so bad, and she just developed a severe anemia and I tried treating her and but she 
you know, she passed away too. It was like, you know. Well, well Pepe, Pepe's got, you know, the vision I get, I mean, a lot of you guys aren't aware of this, but you can actually get your dog back. Uh, you can, you can meditate, you can talk to God and talk to your dog. And there's a vision I get when dogs want to come back to you. Uh, and they, they can be born in, in a puppy. You have to pick up litter of puppies, put your hand above the puppies and your, your hand will get very hot over the puppy that is your puppy. And, but I see Pepe wanting to come back and I see a little, oh, good. Nap, I see a little knapsack. It's almost like, if you know what those little knapsack things like a hobo has with a, yeah. a little stick and a little, little thing of clothes. Uh, uh -huh. That's what, that's what the dogs have. Um, the, and so I'll see that vision and that vision lets me know that they want to come back. And so Pepe wants to come back to you and oh, good. So, sooner than later. No. So, well, so, I don't have it. I don't have any puppies in the, in the uh, pipeline, but, um, I felt that he wasn't in the clinic so that I'm glad he's in the truck. So, uh -huh. because I'm like, he's not in the clinic. I, cause I can feel Mickey here at the house. Cause I feel, I'm like, I feel like sense him crawling on me. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. yeah mix at the oh. house. Well, well, you know, you're, you're very spiritually gifted yourself and very psychic yourself. And I know you run your, your business, your clinic that way, your life that way. And so you heal a lot of people and a lot of dogs. And so and a lot of all kinds of animals. You're like Dr. Doolittle Jody. And so, but I really appreciate, I, I appreciate you. And thank you for Boopers, who's still alive. Yeah. And, and Boopers is, is uh, the little white dog that runs around here and is Taco's uh, aunt. And, and so, uh, so, you know, I mean, that was you, you, Amber's kid. Yeah. And so there we go. And so there's, there's like your dogs have, have created these beautiful little, little, uh, little, little beings that are just everybody's buddy. Thank you for that. And thank you for all the joy. And so, uh, I mean, a lot of times like you, everybody contributes. And so, uh, you probably never get enough credit for how much you contribute <clears throat> and how much you do for people and bringing them joy with their pets and their animals that are their, their, be, their, their life. Aaron, who comes on the show all the time, uh, their little white dog uh, came from you, you know. And so uh, and what's the dog's name? I'm trying to remember the dog's name. I can't remember it. I can't believe it. And so, but, but all these things, you create a lot of families for people, Jody. And I don't think you're finished creating yet. I think you've only begun. And so I see you doing that. And I see your beautiful place in Florida coming along. It's, it's all great. I see that. And I see all this healing. It's actually raining. Um, interesting. It's raining golden coins on your head right now. And so I'm just seeing it raining golden coins on your head. And I appreciate that. That's a beautiful thing. Allow it to come down. There we go. I love you. And I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my girl. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Thank you, Jody. Thank you. Oh, so sad, though. Oh okay. my God, I'm picking up on, you know, I'm feeling these, these dogs that are, you know, just so special. I, I mean, little animals love you guys, you know, and you're, we're lucky to have them in our lives, our animals. We're lucky to have our old friends in our lives and we're lucky to have each other. So realize that oneness is the biggest thing these days. And the next biggest thing is appreciation. And you just want to appreciate like there is no tomorrow and you'll find you'll slip up into this heaven on earth dimension on earth and your life will be beautiful. Who are we talking to? Oh, they go. We appreciate you. And we appreciate everyone on this call and everybody. Yes. And I yeah. appreciate you, honey. Okay. So let's go to Eddie and Emily, please. Eddie and Emily. Eddie and Emily. Okay. Yes. Thank Eddie you. and Emily. Unmute yourself, please. Hi. Hey, Hi. guys. Hey, you guys. What are you doing? We're in our camper, North Carolina. <laughs> oh, look at you. All right. All right. You're in your camper? I don't know how that goes. We are. We, I, after the retreat, we fell in love with North Carolina. So we sold it. We sold our home and here we are. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's good. So I love it. And so your trailer, trash. I love it. Yes. <laughs> at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah trailer, trash is good. There we go. I love it. One, one of the happiest times of my life, I lived in the trailer. Really true. True, true, true. You know? And so, and, and so there's something about it. I don't know. It's you know what great. you need and you don't need much. Yeah. We'll figure out the rest. We'll figure out the rest as we go. Yeah. Oh, good. Where are you in North Carolina? Lillington. Oh, Wilmington? Lillington, near Fruit Lillington. Lake Arena. Oh, yeah. I know it is. Okay, great. Yeah, great, great. not far. So what's your, well, I'm so happy for you. What's your question? So it's another dog question. 
Okay. Um, the night's like pet our, night. What am I, the pet psychic tonight, I guess. Anyway, I love it. It's our, today's actually our 12 year wedding anniversary. Oh, and we yeah. went to dinner. Thank you. And we got back to the camper and we noticed well, our, she was our, our female dog, Charlotte. She was all excited and she, you know, she, she came up trialing to us to pet her and, you know, she laid down for me to rub her belly. And I found this like mass near her stomach, this large bump. Um, and with all these dog questions, we thought it'd be appropriate to ask, do you, do you know what it is? Do you, I mean, we're, she's an older dog, obviously, but. Yeah, well, usually, though, I mean, I'm being quite honest, usually those are cancers. Um, in your case, it feels like an allergic reaction. Okay. Which is okay. Great. Yeah, because it feels it feels more like um, uh, autoimmune allergic than, uh, you know, autoimmune cancer, you know, and it feels like that to me. Um, and so um, it doesn't feel that it doesn't feel like 911. It just, you know, that's what I think. And so, but I projected lots of light, lots of healing. I see you're looking brighter and brighter. So there we go. So looks good. There you can't go. <laughs> I can see her. There she goes. Hey there. Oh my God, beautiful eyes. Yeah. Oh my God, I got zapped with so much love from from her. <laughs> she's so our good. love bug. So she's there a sweetheart. She's a sweetheart. Yeah, she's like a love bug. You guys are love bugs. I remember you coming to the retreat with so much love and light. You helped everybody just by being here. That's good. Well, keep it keep it going on. I, I I'm excited uh, that you're you're in North Carolina and and uh, a happy journeys to find your spots. You know, happy Thank anniversary. You. Thank Thanks, you. Guys. We're trying to find our spot. We're kind of just living off the land until we find our new we're, home. We're trying to figure it all out. You know, we don't. We're, we're looking. Hopefully, we see you in September. <laughs> yeah, we might make our way that way. Yeah. <laughs> Come. No, you're welcome. Come. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Likewise. I love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Love you, more. you love you guys bye happy anniversary thank you they're so awesome i like them i just kind of want to crawl in the camp the camp sleep in the, yeah sleep in the spare couch <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right mm -hmm. yeah, perfect. yeah I, I think so i think so i'm gonna buy an rv dino all right okay you got it <laughs> RVs, you know dean's like yeah right right <laughs> mm, go for it Gets a tour bus. <laughs> so, <laughs> have somebody to drive it. Staff to take me, take care of me. Anyway, I could see whatever. you driving the RV to Walmart to go grocery shopping or something. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I took my what was the car? The crazy uh, what's that thing? Uh, Excalibur car to Walmart. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that started a well. lot. Anyway, Walmart don't know what to do with me. They really don't. <laughs> we talking to thank you gary okay um couple new people let's oh. uh first let's go to veronica cervantes veronica hey. cervantes veronica. all right veronica meet yourself thank you hey girl hi, hi. um hey what's your question honey say hello everybody <laughs> um hey. okay so i'm still having issues with the whole home thing um with what cut it so <laughs> I, I don't know, I'm trying to stay positive, but it does get a little worrisome. <laughs> okay, and you gotta, you gotta tell me again because your, your, your voice went away in, in my feed. Uh, tell me you're having issues with- With the housing? I still haven't have, have had um, luck with that. that I, don't know, I don't know who was supposed to help me, but I haven't gotten any housing. And then um, I'm pretty much out of money, like my credit and everything, just trying to survive. So, okay, let me show you, let me show you something. Okay, let me show you how to crawl out of a deep hole. Is okay. that okay? Yeah. Uh, I want you to to close your eyes and now look up and I'm see all that. It's almost like light explosions up there. See those? So you see explosions in your head. See them? There's just all kinds of little light, like looks like fireworks a little bit. Wait, there you go. See it now? See that? Okay. Yeah. That's me. I'm blowing the demons off of your head. Okay. Now you notice your brain got hot. Your head's warm. Feel it? Yeah. Okay. All right. And so now that I want you to float way up above it and now see how it went really bright and white. All right. See, it got really bright, really light. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I want you to slip up into that space. That's the heaven on earth on earth dimension. And now you're in it. And I want you to say, I have no fear. I have no fear. Say it one more time. 
I have no I fear. have no fear. You don't. There we go. And I am fearless. Say, I am fearless. I am fearless. Your feet are on fire now. Feel your feet on fire. Feel your hands are warm. Your face is getting hot. I see you starting to sweat. You feel all that going on? Okay. Yeah. yeah. See, your fear was freaking you out and keeping you motivated. And now we got totally above the fear. You'll find everything will fall into place in about the next day. Okay? Now let it happen. Don't okay. loop back into it. Now don't loop back. Don't loop. Yeah. Keep going. Stay there. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You actually really got it. There we go. Good luck. I love you. Okay? Yeah, Thank fear, you, Veronica. Fear, Good luck. Veronica. And, and, and it really is that simple. I mean, we all have fear. You know, everybody will have a little bit of fear or a lot of bit of fear. And what you do is you float above it. And just like she did right there, you guys, all you guys can do that same thing. You close your eyes, pull out all your spiritual gifts, whack all the demons above your head, keeping you in fear and go up above that fear mm -hmm. into this white space. It's a white light space. And you go way up above there in this white light space. And as soon as you go up above there in the white light space, you're going to go all the way up to the Zion heaven, which is right there. And it looks just like that. And it's just it's this beautiful, bright, white light space. And when you do that, you're going to be able to not have any fear. And you'll find you'll burn right through whatever dark things going on. And you'll solve all your issues. And you'll be like, oh, my God, it worked. It really does work. It's like that. Michelle, who are we talking to? Awesome. Thank you, Gary. I got some new people for you. So let's first go to Candy Bean. I think right. Candy Bean. I hope I said that right. Yep, Candy Bean. I see <laughs> Hi, you. Candy. Thanks for being patient. Hi, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, girl. How are Hi. you? Hi. Hi, Gary. Thank you so Hi. much for sharing your gifts with everyone. No, thank you for just letting me share them with you guys. What would I do <laughs> if I didn't have you? I don't know. I don't know what I'd do. I don't know. I'd probably eat. I think I eat. I love to eat. Anyway, what's your, what's your question? Um, about two weeks ago, my best friends lost their brother. He died at the age of 41. His name was Anthony. And my friends are just broken. They're just, they're just in pieces right now. And how did he die? Time. How did he die? You know, they, his mom found him in the morning and he had passed overnight. They think it was a heart attack. They're not sure. They still have to do an autopsy, I think. And I don't even know if their mom will let them do that. So it looks like a, it looks like almost a massive heart attack and stroke at the same time. Wow. You know, which could have been even like an aneurysm or something, but it was like something exploded in his system. Uh, that's what I see. <clears throat> I see him um, uh, in heaven uh, and I see him on a boat in heaven. Okay. And so did he like boats or the water or what? You know, I wasn't very close with him as I'm, they're, they're, his sisters were like my sisters, but I wasn't very close with him, but. I, I wanted to share this recording with them because it might. Okay. Be well, I see, I see him on the, this, it's a boat and there's a, other people that he's with on, on this boat, you know? So it's, you know, it's almost like he, he's with his buddies on a boat is what I see. Okay. Uh, but he's laughing, he's having fun. Uh, he's going cheers, like, you know, <laughs> you know, whatever. So I, I don't know, maybe he drank Budweiser, but he's holding up, you know, he's going cheers. And, and so, but he's laughing. He's just laughing and having fun. Uh, he said that heaven is a big party and he's, he's invited. So he, <laughs> he's just happy he went to heaven. Uh, it's a real surprise when you're that young and you die. Uh, you know, I was, I was, you know, of course, uh, you know, a little older and I died. I went through my dying experience with COVID and I died five times during that whole crazy thing. Uh, but thank God, God brought me back five times, you know, and so, um, and more gifted, more spiritually gifted. So dying is a weird thing. Uh, and once you go through that process, it's kind of crazy. And sometimes you go and you go, and sometimes you go and you're maybe lucky like me and you come back. Um, and so, so he's like so happy that he went and he died and he ended up in heaven. So he's very appreciative, very thankful. Uh, he's in heaven. He says he sees them sometimes when they are sad. He's telling me to tell you to tell them not to be sad, uh, that he's totally happy where he is. Uh, he's really good. And I guess he's with grandparents there okay. as well. And so, so he's with family members. He's good. 
Okay, you know, good. All and, right. and he has a and he has a cool car over there. So he's with somebody. <laughs> he's with all these other people, and they've got things. So he's with one person, and they have a really cool car. I don't know if the, the, I'm trying to figure out what car it is. It looks like an. I don't know. Is it, it mm, what is this thing? It's an early '60s car, okay. and so so it looks really neat. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, thank you so much. All right. Good luck. All right. Thank thank you. Thank you. Oh, good That's luck. Thank cool. you, Candy. Oh. Yeah, I love it when they collect cars in heaven. This is beautiful. You know, that's always this beautiful. Nice. So, who we got? Who we got? Thank you, Gary. Got another new person. Haley Roger. Haley Roger. Hi, Haley, Haley Roger. We guess there's oh. two. There's two Haley. Oh, I'll go with the one with the camera on. All right, Haley, unmute yourself. Oh, the one with the camera on. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi. Uh oh, you're gonna have to mute your other one. Okay, let me figure it out. Sorry, I kept shutting off. <laughs> it's okay. Hi, Haley. So I have you on two different cameras to make sure it didn't shut off. Oh, there we go. Hey, girl. What's your question? What's Hi. your question? So first of all, I just want to say thank you because I had a reading with you about a month ago, and it was life changing. Oh, me. I'm going to save this clip because you froze right then on my screen. <laughs> it was life. <laughs> Are you still there, Haley? <laughs> she said it might. That's why she has two, because she said it might oh, cut off on I her. I know, but you get feedback. Oh, no, now. we got to talk to her. We can't leave her hanging on that cliff. That's yeah. a cliff. So we know you changed her life. So we know that much. Yeah. Right. And so she, she, had, and she has one more question. Then she may have to dial back in on her other computer. You know, she does. We'll pick back right back up on her. In the meantime, go to someone else. We'll come right back to her. Have okay, it. let's go to Lori Jean. Yeah, yeah we can't leave her. We can't leave her hanging with that face. She's okay, coming we'll in. Come right, oh, okay. She's, she's coming in right now on her other one. Oh, okay. she is. I'm good. Good, good, good. You know, when your camera freezes, it uh, freezes. It always freezes in a ridiculous frame, right? There we go. Mm -hmm. All right. Unmute Haley. All right. You got her. I uh, ask her to unmute. We can go back to her right after this. One. Okay. Okay, let's go back to her. Haley, we're going to give you a minute. We're going to go to one person before you and we'll come right back. So let's go to Lori Jean, another new person. Lori Jean. All right. Hi, Lori. Hi. Hi, Gary. Hey. Hi, hey. everyone. <laughs> hey, girl. What's your question, honey? Um, It's kind of a two part question. Um, With my current career right now, I'm really unhappy with it. And uh, I travel a lot with this job, you know, and the gas prices aren't really helping with things. Um, do you see that, Chrissy, that I stay in this career path that I'm in? Well, here's what I think. I think if you talk to the powers that be where you work, you're going to disagree with everything I say. Let me say that ahead of time, okay? Uh, if you talk to whoever your bosses are, right? And, and tell them that things are not very practical for you now because of gas prices and where it is. And, and if they could explain to you how the hell you can continue in this job, uh, right? Um, without getting a little more compensation to pull it off. Uh, I think that they will probably come up with and probably being 95%, they'll come up with a solution. You know, do you have two bosses or three? Yeah, I do. <laughs> right. Well, you, you basically have two a-holes and one nice person. Yep. You're right. Okay. Right. And so yep. instead of don't talk to the a-hole, you want to talk to the nice person. Okay. okay? Uh, <laughs> talk to talk to the nice person, tell them your situation. And say, I love doing what I do, but this isn't practical anymore because of how much it costs me to do it. So surely you guys can recognize that and take care of a girl or not. And so, and I think they'll take care of you, but you have to talk to the nice one first. Okay. 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 And then the and second part is, um, okay. should I be buying this upcoming home and so in a different location? Mm, that's a loaded question. I, I can I can mess you up on this. I don't want to. Uh, where's the location? It's uh, it's ten minutes south of where I live now. It's in Minnesota. It feels like if you wait, and I know that's not what you want to hear, 
uh, you would be better. And you're going, damn it. I didn't want to hear that. You know, I know that. Uh, but you may have a whole better situation that's far better uh, in the next few months. And this has to do with a, a different job, a different situation, a whole different deal, uh, and possibly a different state. And I know you'll think that makes no damn sense, right? I know, you know, like I'm telling you all kinds of things and I can see your head's got everything. You, you've basically got your life planned out every iota for the next 700 years, right? Or 700 <laughs> lifetimes. Uh, and so you're, a, you're a sort of a planner, right? Yeah. Okay, here's your lesson in life. Don't plan. Okay. Here's your other, here's your other lesson in life. Don't overthink. Oh, <laughs> God, right? And so, Those are big. Uh, here's your other lesson in life. Allow. Just okay. let it be. And so, so all these are, make sense to you though, right? It does. Yeah. You're going, Damn it, I don't want to hear any of this. I don't want to hear anything you got to say. Why did I call you? Why are you, why am I talking to you, right? And so, but, but I see that you really want to just allow. And so I always tell people how to allow. Here's how you allow. Okay. I'm allowing. <laughs> That's it. That's it? Just allow. Okay. Practice it. Okay, now allow. One, two, three, allow. Allow. See? Yeah. You, got warm in your, you got warm in your hands. <laughs> you did. I, did. I felt I you did. See, see, nobody, everybody says, okay, I'm going to allow, let me overthink how to allow, blah, you know, and you go crazy. You just allow. That's how you allow. Oh, you got it. Let's see you're doing good. Good luck, honey. All right. Thank you, Gary. I appreciate you. Yeah. Talk to you soon. Florida. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Lori. Good good luck. Luck. you like Florida? I think, I, I think I see you in Florida later. That's good. Florida. Walking down the beach. Drinking a tequila sunrise. <laughs> no, no, that sounds hey, too bad. Haley's back, by the way. <laughs> We're going to unmute Haley to get back to her. All right, we got okay. two Haley's. Haley. Right, so. Ready, set, go. Talk before you... Before I did the computer. one with the okay. hand raised. All right, Haley. Did we, we just ask you to unmute. Did we click on the right one? Yeah, the one with her hand raised with the picture. So right. Haley Rogers, go ahead and hey. unmute. Unmute one. I could see her, but yeah. I think she's stuck again. No, nope. she's allowing right now. This <laughs> <laughs> she's allowing. <laughs> hey, Haley, you're either the queen of allowing or the queen, or the queen of really dumb expressions when you. <laughs> Haley, go ahead and unmute. <laughs> yeah, froze framed. When you oh get my god! Is okay. she Hold unmuted on. yet? I don't know. Let's go to somebody else while she. Figures it out, I guess. Okay, we well then we'll. Call. We may have to call and talk to her. Okay, right. well then go to um Alice Matskin, Alice and Richard, ah. our friends in Ohio. Hey, Alice, unmute yourself, please. Uh, I love these guys. Oh, oh I don't know. They were yeah. there. Oh, okay. There she is. She just unmuted. Hi, Jerry. Oh, hey, hey, I can't see him. Oh, there I can see him. Hey, guys. Um, I'm calling because Robbie is here with us. He's got a pretty bad case of COVID. He's had for the last three days, and he's got a hundred degree temperature right at the moment. And oh. um, he's, I've gotten a prescription for Pax COVID or something. I, I don't think he wants to take it. And um, I'm wondering if you can do a healing on him. Yeah, I'd be glad to. Worried. Yeah. Is he in the guest house or in the bed? Where is he? Is, is he's he in the, the guest house? house in the trailer. Okay. Got All right. Yeah. Let me look. At, yeah, let me look at him. Okay. So, yeah, when I look around him, he's got <clears throat> he's got a he's got a big black blob on him, and I'm peeling the big black blob off. Uh, and I see tremendous amount of angels just moving around him. Um, and I see your angels, uh, Alice and Richard, you guys, um, you guys are our angels. And so it's really easy. You got a whole band of them that show up when they need to. Uh, and so I just see a lot of angels around him. Uh, I see one of his lungs looking pretty dark. Uh, and I burned all the darkness out of lung, one lung. Uh, I see uh, um, a slight infection going on. Uh, uh, let me burn that off of him. There we go. And now I see a big giant light going in him. 
and there we go, and a new spirit, and a bunch of a, a bunch of other angels coming down into it. There we go, and now I, I see uh, God putting a special uh, green healing holy water inside of him. This is what I do, guys, when I'm healing folks. I see this green healing energy going inside of uh, Robbie, who is uh, Alice's brother, who's my friend. And so, and I'm just clearing him. There we go. There we are. Uh, and the biggest thing is he's, he's, uh, he's really afraid. So he's just, he's fearful. And so, and I'm trying to uh, now kill a bunch, bunch of little fear demons running around everywhere. Um, and so there we go. And now uh, you, I, I can feel, Alice, you're such an empath. I feel you feeling the warmth in your back as, as uh, now the cottage is, is, is glowing. And this is where I sleep when I'm at Richard and Alice's. And this, is, this, is a, this is this precious cottage of healing energy and light. I go there to heal up. And so, but I just see the whole cottage glowing in a beautiful gold hue. And so my sinus is open. I feel bright in my head. I feel light all over, I feel slightly teary. And so I, I just see healing going into him and I see a big God matrix. And so as long as he drinks a lot, he needs to drink a lot of fluids, you know? So uh, this, this particular COVID is really dehydrating people. And, and so uh, every COVID has a different COVID way. Uh, but this particular one that's running around now is actually really dehydrating people, even if they drink water. So he needs to drink a lot, a lot, a lot of water. And I, I see that's if he does that, that's going to really help. And um, he looks good now. He looks good. So he's bright. But I'll keep an eye on him. I'll pay attention. You know? And so there we go. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Appreciate, appreciate you. Good luck, guys. We love and miss you. Love y'all. Miss y'all. I get hungry every time I'm around Alice. <laughs> she's such a great cook. She is. She's I know. So this is like a, a. Can you imagine all the food? You yeah. couldn't put that much food. You couldn't put that much food in the house. All the food we, we've ate at Richard and Alice's house. That's perfect. I'm just looking we're, at Rocky. We're going right. to try one more time, Gary, for Haley. All right. One All right. More time. Hey, one more time. One more time. She said she gave up on the phone. She gave okay. up on this. Now she's going to try the computer. So. All right. All right, one Haley. More time. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. yes. And we, it okay. looks like we're looking at the moon. Thank you. Oh, good. What's your question, honey? So thank you for getting me on. I don't know what you heard of the last one, but... I talked to you a little bit over a month ago and it was life changing. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. You're, we're, are you in the frame? Do you have, can you stand in front of the camera or are you somewhere else? No. I we'll, am we'll spotlight. At, we'll spotlight both of them, Gary. So yeah, you can we'll see. spotlight you. Uh, oh, I can't exit the other one. I'm sorry. We'll spotlight you so we, we could we'll do a split frame. All right. Oh, good. So, yeah. So I heard, I heard you. So I, you had a reading a month ago and it helped you out. Yeah, it was life changing. So thank you so much for that. I've really been trying to meditate and listen to what you said by appreciating and allowing. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm kind of hoping to get some more guidance from you on where I should go with my spirituality, because it all seems new and I'm kind of lost and I would love your help. Well, that means you're in the right place. A lot of times when you're lost, it means you know that you're lost and you're looking. Uh, a lot of times people, especially us little pea-brained humans, uh, we actually think we are found. We don't think lost. We think I know exactly where I am. I know exactly where I'm going. I have precisely what I, you know, whatever. Uh, and, and so I think you're actually in the zone. Uh, I don't think you're not. And when I say you're in the zone, you might notice your feet got hot. Feel that? Yes. You see? And so you're totally, uh, I see you on your golden diamond path. And for you guys who don't have the spiritual gift of your golden diamond path right now, you would say, dear God, please give me the spiritual gift of my golden diamond path. And Haley, even say that again. God, give me my spiritual gift of my golden diamond path. God, give me the, my spiritual gift of my golden diamond path, please. Now your feet are on fire. Feel it? Mm -hmm. You see? So you're actually, you're on the road, you're on the path. So, so you, you, you may doubt, uh, you may feel like you don't know where you're going. Uh, that's because you're being led. You're not deciding in your head what yeah. you're doing. You're actually being led to what you're doing. Mm 
So I think you're in the zone way more than you could ever imagine. Uh, it looks like you're on, on, on track. And so that's what I would say. Uh, and when I look at you, I see a few more spiritual gifts coming down to you. Uh, sometimes you get turned backwards in your body. Uh, and I see one of your higher selves backwards in your body. I just flipped you around. Did you have that problem before when I talked to you? Yes, I had a oh. lot. You said I had a blockage going to my God cord. Okay, makes sense. And so I just cleared it. I cleared it. And so now that I see you face on, face forward, engaged, nailing life. And so I feel great about you. I don't feel good about you. I feel great about you. And so a lot of times to realize what we need to do, we have to realize we're not doing what the hell it was we were supposed to do in the first place. And so, and that's a big one for some people. Uh, in your case, I see you really on track. I don't, I don't argue with nothing in my head with you. Um, and so it looks really good. And I see you having stupid, dumb luck uh, in the next two weeks, having to do with work and money. Um, and, and I see that working out good. Is, does that make any sense to you? You're waiting. Not for... yet, but I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, you. Are you pursuing that right now? You know, no, money? but I am kind of taking on like a leadership role overall and there's a lot of changes. So, okay. Well, whatever it is with your new stuff where you're pushing forward, I see you pushing forward and getting paid to push forward. So this feels good. You're all good. Not Thank even bad. you. All right. I have a, a kind of like a trauma related okay. question, which I feel like impacts um, my like ability to learn and retain information. I think that as a child, I know that a coping mechanism that I used for all the trauma I experienced was to disassociate with it. So right. throughout my life, I, I, I don't remember anything but trauma. And I, I've worked with my therapist for eight years <laughs> And I Here's, really tried. Here, I'm going to get rid of that for you right now. And see, in your case, it looks like a box. And it, you got a box on you. Anytime you're in a box, anytime you see a spiritual vision of a black box or a box or a square, this means that you're encased in anger. Okay. And so with your traumas you went through, especially as a kid, um, you're pissed off. You're just pissed off about that, right? And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of that pissed off, angry energy. And there we go. And I took, I took it off of you. I felt you get a little dizzy in your head right then. Feel your head get dizzy. It's kind of a strange feeling. And so now I, you, I see you starting to sweat. And I see all this light going into your body. Uh, it was basically childhood anger. I got rid of it. You're fine. I want you to say these words for me, okay? All right, honey? I want you to say, I want you to say it to God. I want you to say, God, 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 it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Good. Now you're really hot. Feel that? Yeah. Yeah. Guilt is a derivative of fear. So anytime you have guilt, it's fear. And so, but your, yours was all unfounded for, to any truth or reality. And so, again, God, it's not my fault. God, it's not my fault. It's not your fault. You're fine. Now you got really, like, almost dozy doodle sleepy. Feel that feeling? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get some rest. That's what I see. <laughs> okay? I love you. Thank Take you. Take care of yourself, you. honey. Good Thank luck. You. Thank Good you. Luck. Good luck. Stay Good beautiful. Luck, You're beautiful. <laughs> That was she cool. has a pretty smile. Oh, that was really cool. I saw, all kinds of, I saw all kinds of stuff fly off of her. That was really crazy to see all that. Anyway. Uh, good job. Who are we talking to, okay. we talking got, to Michelle? I got some more new people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. Okay, so can we get Donna's iPad? Donna. Hi, Donna. Thank you. Donna's iPad. Unmute yourself, please. All right, Donna. Thanks for being patient. Thank you so much for uh, taking my, my Zoom. Hey, I couldn't be, couldn't be happier, honey. What's your question? What's your well, question? I had multiple, but, you know, sitting here thinking about it at work, I have a new coworker. Her name is Lee. Uh -huh. And her, um, last year, she came down with COVID mm -hmm. and her husband. And they're in two separate hospitals. Her husband didn't make it. Oh. And, and she's working just... To, to try to get a life, uh, some kind of life back, it's really tearing her up. 
Do you oh. see that he's okay? Or oh, he's messages? fine. I, I see him fine. He's in heaven and he's with somebody and they're playing golf. He's not playing golf. He's just with them. Okay. So whoever that is, uh, but I see him in heaven. He's doing well. You know, he just says he loves her and he's sending her light. He's sending her love. Um, so he's not the issue. When I look at her, um, is she on any medications now? She takes a lot of supplements, like okay. vitamins and stuff like that. I mean, she, which she went through them with me, yeah. Yeah, well, I think that she may be taking too much of something that's actually interacting with the other something. Um, so she's almost ODing on all this stuff. And so, so she might need to, you know, figure out what she's really taking. Uh, so those are the issues of why she's feeling beat up and crazy. Uh, it would be like almost like if you have a cup of coffee and then you have a hundred more cups, you know, so, so she's taking something that's making her head race and it's really uh, lethal for her. So, so she's on something that's messing her up that way. So figure out what that is and she's going to be fine. But I cleared all of her energy. She looks bright now. Uh, her, the problem is, is, is see, you can take enough supplements and sometimes you'll double dip and you'll take things that race you or gives you a little energy and then you'll take another thing and another thing and another thing and it'll make you wacky. And so she's to the vibration of wacky. So, okay. But it's from that. That's what I see. And you, and you, I don't think you quite know what she really is taking. So you might figure that out too. Okay. I, I will. Thank you so much. Hey, good luck. Your feet got real hot. Feel how your feet got hot? They did. They yeah. did. You, you actually got the spiritual gift of the golden diamond road right there. And so I've been asking got, for it all night. <laughs> okay. Well, you just now got it. You just now got it. It just now went to you. And see, now you feel like you're on fire inside. Yeah. Feel that? And so, I guys, even, even if you asked for this gift before, you want to ask for the spiritual gift of your golden diamond road. This is one of the biggest spiritual gifts you can get from this new dimension that is opening up, which is the heaven on earth on earth dimension. And so you just want to allow it to come down to you, allow it to go into your body. There we go. See, now you feel you feel really good. Feel that feeling? Crazy yeah. feeling. You're starting yes. to sweat. It's crazy, yeah. right? You got really <laughs> hot. And you may sleep really hot. Realize when you get a spiritual gift, sometimes you wake up in the middle of the night and you're like, oh my God, I'm on fire. And so, but that's, uh, that's just that, just how it works. That's, that's what it is. So good luck, honey. I appreciate you Thank so much. You. Thank Love you. you. Love you back. There we go. Uh, and so, you know, so what are we well, doing? We're doing, luck. we got all kinds of stuff. We got an energy, we got a workshop coming up next weekend, guys. Uh, and so we got our spiritual master class and, and you want to be involved in this spiritual master class because I learned a lot of tricks uh, if you would, that will shortcut this for you. Some of these I, I try to try to beat home and, and, and drill into to your head as well as my own uh, on how to, you know, really move up into this really brilliant dimension where things occur in your life fantastic, really fast. Um, you, you want to, first of all, you don't want to appreciate mediocre. You want to, you want to have perfect come to you because it's, it's really hard to, to manifest mediocrity and mediocre, but it's really easy to manifest absolutely perfect. And then the only thing you got to do is get out of your own damn way. <laughs> That's really how simple it is. Once you get out of your own way, you will find that things will show up in your life, in your world, and start to really work for you. And so it's it's really easy. And then you just appreciate like there's no tomorrow, be one with everybody. And you'll find things work out really, really good. And so, but next week is our master class. And hey, Dean, can you tell everybody how to get into the master class and what they do? Yes, it's very simple. So you go to GarySpivey.com. I'll show you. Hold on one second. Okay. And, and, you know, with this too, guys, uh, you know, if you're not in the online club, you should be because you, then you have access to all the meditations I've done forever. Uh, and so and it's in the online library at, at GarySpivey.com. And so, and, and it's really, really easy. I'll even give you a free month right now. And so, so this is a spiritual masterclass, you know, join. It's very simple. Go to GarySpivey.com. That's what you go, everybody. And this is the front page of the website right here. This is the spiritual masterclass. All you have to do is click on learn more. It will take you to the next page. 
There you go. Try it for one month free. Cancel anytime. That's Gary Spivey's masterclass. It tells you a little bit about it. It's very easy to join. Then all you have to do is just click try it for a month and you join the masterclass. Nice. Enlightenment Club, you get the masterclass every month. You're going to get archive of all the energy clearings Gary's always done. There's tons and tons and hours of footage in there of all the energy clearings, the masterclasses. There's so much in there. You couldn't go through it in six months if you try to. There's that much information in there. So it will change your life. And you know what's really crazy? I mean, I'm seeing this every day. I read uh, somebody yesterday. I read uh, uh, Eliza Engel and uh, from uh, Alexandria, Virginia, and um, and she's got the spiritually gifted uh, kid. If you remember, he was just able to see and know everything as a little boy, you know. And um, and 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 so uh, you know, I don't know if Eliza's on tonight, but anyway, I was I was talking to her and I was giving her uh, a reading yesterday. And, and she was explaining to me the different meditations uh, that are in the online library, at, 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 in, you know, in uh, GarySpivey.com and the Enlightenment Club. And she was telling me the different meditations that really work for her. And so but that was just yesterday with Eliza. But I hear this all the time. Different people that I talk to, they go, you know what really works for me? And, and I guess you guys check out all the different meditations and you'll find one that really takes you uh, up to Zion heaven, to the highest heavens, that gives you the biggest spiritual gifts daily. And you'll find your way. I mean, there's so many different paths. Uh, every day I get a different spiritual gift or many gifts. Sometimes I get hundreds of spiritual gifts. It's crazy. And so the only thing I want to do is share them with you. And so thank God we've recorded, recorded these over the years. And so you have access to all of these. So make sure you join, uh, join the Enlightenment Club. Uh, and then next Sunday, I'll be doing a master class where I'm explaining this new dimension that's around where you can manifest things instantly. Uh, what happens when you say, what happens when you die and go to heaven? Well, when you die and go to heaven, the first thing they do is they ask you, what would you like? Okay. Uh, many times people will tell them if they were happy on earth, they'll say, I want my same house I had on earth. So you get your same house you had on earth. Uh, many times people will say, well, I love old cars and they'll get a giant car collection, whatever it is. Uh, many times people will say, I love the beach. And they'll end up walking on the beach and hanging out and having fun. Uh, and whatever it may be, uh, people can manifest their perfect heaven as soon as they get to heaven. Well, this is a dimension that's showing up here on earth, the heaven on earth, on earth dimension. And during this time, I can show you guys and teach you guys how to manifest your heaven on earth, on earth. That means in your house, where you live, where you work where you dwell. And so this is a crazy thing that, that earth is really truly turning into a heaven for a lot of you people. Um, if it's not turning into a heaven, it's going to do one or the other. It's going to turn into a heaven or it'll turn into a hell. I'm going to sound like a Baptist preacher, but it really is. And so it finally is to this dimension where if you think you're in hell, you got to check it out next week, master class. You can join it for free for a month if you're not in. And, and, and so just go in and, and this will really help you out. And I'll see you guys uh, next week. I'll be here, you know, hanging out and, and teaching you guys how to navigate this new dimension. It's a little bit different than all the other spiritual dimensions I've experienced through the years. Uh, but this one is the one really, truly where the rubber meets the road and where you guys can have your own heaven on earth. It'll show up and your manifestations will come instantly true. And it works like that. And so I, I appreciate you guys. And also, what are we doing? We're doing a spiritual retreat as well. Um, a spiritual retreat's right here in beautiful Star, beautiful North Carolina. Uh, here we are. We're out in the I am field and we're, we're checking out the big angels. And so this is an amazing space. And so we take you to all the different vortexes that are right here in North Carolina where I'm at. And so uh, and I'll be working with you for four days. And all you got to do is call Michelle. And that's 702 822 uh, what's the number? Zero, zero five four eight. eight. <laughs> zero five four eight. It, it went off the screen. Yeah. Zero five four eight, or either uh, eight hundred eight two seven Gary Gary Spivey dot com for a private reading as well. 
but make sure you're here in September or you can join the virtual retreat uh, and don't miss any of it. I heard so many great things from the virtual retreat last time where you guys were saying, wow, I really got it. I really got it. I felt what you guys were feeling when you were there in person. But if you can come in person to the spiritual retreat in beautiful North Carolina at my home, I would love you to be here. And so can't wait to see you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, am I missing anything, Dino? Uh, let me oh. see. Enlightenment Club, Master energy Class, clearing. Energy Clearing. Crystals. Uh, <laughs> I think you hit everything. Private readings, uh, uh, spiritual crystals. retreat. Oh. And the crystals. Yep. <laughs> and love. Oh, there we go. Crystals. We got tons of crystals and we, we're having so much fun. And so we'll have our little crystal website up and going pretty soon. Anyway, so there we go. And so this is... Uh, a beautiful, I heard grab this one, and this was one, um, a rose quartz, and I'm projecting lots of love to all you guys. I love you guys, and I appreciate you guys, and I just got to say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Say, thank you, God, and God, God please God. give me, give me all my spiritual gifts, God, that I need to get through this. Thank you, God. Give me all the spiritual gifts I need to get us through it. Thank you, God. I appreciate you guys, and I will see you soon. I'll be right here. I'll be here on the Wednesday Energy Clearing. I'll be right here talking to you guys. Talk to you soon.